as a student comes in um, to a self-assigned um, assignment, uh, this is what they're going to see. Uh, they click on the course here. And down on the side, you're going to see people. They're going to click people. And up on top, you'll see two tabs. There's an everyone tab. That's everybody in the class. And then you can hit groups. So they would hit groups. And in that group setting, they're going to see the groups that uh, were made by that teacher. So I know that uh, for this particular assignment, I know it's loading a little slow. But as I go down, you can see where these are the quarter one presentation groups. Now, students can assign themselves by clicking join. Okay, and it will tell you how many students are in that particular class. Um, students can also leave if they want. Um, and when they do that, they can click on this little arrow here and it'll show who is actually in their group. Now, let's say that they join this group and they want to switch groups, then they can just switch to this group here and it'll automatically move their, them over. Um, this allows students to self-assign. So students that they work well with, I know when we are in school, uh, we have them self-assign by who they're sitting with. But with this at-home at learning, this will allow them to work with people either within the section, if that's how it's set up, or within the whole class um, or within the whole entire class. So uh, it doesn't matter by section. Um, the benefit of this um, setup is that you as a teacher do not have to create the groups. The students can do it on their own. Now, you also have the option of creating those groups and dropping students in. But for uh, assignments like this, this is probably the easiest way to make sure that they are with people that they are in contact with or people that they work well with.